Carla Jean. Thank you for coming. I don't know why I did. I told you, I don't know where he is. So you ain't heard from him? No, I ain't. Nothing? Not one word. Would you tell me if you had? Well, I don't know. He don't need any trouble from you. It's not me who he's in trouble with. Well, who's he in trouble with then? Some pretty bad people. Llewellyn can take care of himself. These people will kill him, Carla Jean. And they won't quit. Well, he won't either. He never has. I, I wish I could say that was in his favor. But I have to say, I don't think that I can. But he can take on all comers. You remember uh, Charlie Walzer? He had that place east of Sanderson. You know how they slaughter beefs? They hit him with a maul right here to stun him. Then they truss him up, slit their throats. So old Charlie had, had one uh, all trussed up, ready to drain him. And the beef comes too. It starts thrashing about. So now you have 600 pounds of very pissed off livestock. Pardon my. So Charlie grabs for his gun. But with all the kicking and thrashing, it's a glance shot. He misses. It ricochets back round and hits Charlie in his shoulder. You don't see Charlie today. He can't lift his right arm to fix his hat. Point being that even in a contest between cow and man, The decision isn't in conclusion. And when Llewellyn calls you, just tell him that I can make him safe. Of course, they don't, they don't slaughter beeves like that no more. They use an air gun. It, uh, it shoots out a rod this far into the animal's brain and it sucks it back in. Animal don't even know what hit him. Why are you telling me that, Sheriff? I don't know. My mind wanders. <laughs>